Hi guys and welcome to a new video. So this is the Forge of Winter Quest. Let's go ahead and show you on the map where we are. So we're just about to head down to the node, just there. And we're in Cauldron Epsilon at the moment, which is on the in the Frozen Wilds. The DLC, the Frozen Wilds, part of Horizon Zero Dawn. Let's show you on the quest where we are. So the Forge of Winter, activate the Source node. And we've done all those already, all the bits below. So let's go back and let's run down to the fourth node. I'm going to show you an easy way of completing the puzzle on this uh, fourth node. I'll, I'll do it slowly so it's easy to follow. Go ahead and override the source node. I would say this is probably one of the hardest puzzles I've had yet in Horizon Zero Dawn. So just follow me slowly and I'll go through it. Start on the side where the light is coming out. So we need to turn this first one. So the light's coming out on the last exit. Think of it as if you're driving a car. So there's one, two, three, four exits there. So we need to turn this first one so the light's coming out on the last exit. So let's turn it clockwise, let's turn it anti-clockwise. So that's correct, the last exit, the fourth exit, that first one. So we're on to number two now, which will be the second exit we need to take. The light needs to emit out of the second exit. So that is correct, as you can see. So the light's coming in and it's one, two is the second exit, which is correct. And then the next one is number three. We need that to turn. So it's coming out of the first exit and two and three and are empty. So the light is coming out of the second exit, the first exit, sorry. And then the same again, we need this one to come out of the first exit. Let's turn it the other way. I always turn it the wrong way. So that's the first exit on that one. So now let's go to the next one, which is number five. And we need to turn that so it's coming out of the second exit. Which is correct. So that's following it around on the outside. So number six is in the correct place. So you don't need to adjust that one, but just double check it's right. So the first exit is not the one you need, it's the second exit. And then this next one, which is number seven, is not the first exit, it's the second exit. And the next one, which is correct. So this one now is quite a bit trickier. So we're going in with the light going in at the bottom. So we need one, two, three, four, the fifth exit. So one, two, three, four, the fifth exit. So that's correct. And that's number eight. So let's go to number nine now. And it can only go one way, but we need to have it, this one going First exit, so it goes in, first exit, and that's number 9, and now we go to number 10, and we need the second exit, which is correct, and then we go to number 11, which is 1, 2, 3, we need the fourth exit, one, two, three, four, and we need to turn that one. Possible so that's correct. So one, two, three, fourth exit on that one. And that's number eleven. And now number twelve is in at the bottom. So we need first exit on that one, which is correct again. A lot of them are correct, but. You've got to know what you're doing to get them to work. So the next one, 
and as you can see that's the node that needs it, the light needs to go into on the other side of where it came out to complete the circuit so we're now on that's 12 we need, now need to go to 13 so we need one two we need the second exit on this one so this is it so on I'll leave that one for now and we'll just go back through them very slowly so you can work out where you are and just double check it with me before you do the last one so you don't have to then go and start the game again so this is the light coming out so we walk to the first one and then we go one two three we need the fourth exit out on that one so that's number one and then the next one is one, two. We need the second exit on the second on the on that one. Can just pause it for you while you want to check. And then the next one is the first exit. And then the next one is first exit again. And then we go around the outside for one which is second exit and then the next one is also second exit as you can see that so that's second exit as you can see the dotted line it's not going down there and now second exit again Now we want this is the difficult one one two three four five so we need the fifth exit on the right and then we go to the next one so the lights coming in at the bottom and we need the first exit on that one and then we move to the next one and then we need the second exit on that one another difficult one we need one two three four we need the fourth exit on that one and now we need the first exit on this one so that's number 12 so if I follow the light in now it's coming in from the bottom here so we now need it to be the second exit so we need to turn this one counterclockwise and there we go the cutscene quite a nice cutscene this so I'll stay quiet for the cutscene Caldera of Yellowstone Analytic Nexus online spirit of the blue light it's Aurea your servant your friend please tell me how to aid you Aurea the daemon is building hunter killers thousands of them. Several new elite units have already been released. To counter this threat, much of the facility must be destroyed. Recapture imminent. Go to the core camp. I will try to rate the technical strength. One has both, but I am in from here destroy this fortress is that even possible what will happen to the spirit if we do I don't know but I think that's the core the answers are down there Hephaestus the daemon there's no way it left it unguarded. It's going to throw everything it has at us.
would ask you to let Aloy and I do what must be done. And save yourself. But I already know the answer. Then lead us into battle. So that's it guys, that was a cutscene for the completion of that uh, puzzle. Like I said, it's quite a tricky one, that one. And uh, it's easy when you know how, and if you're stuck, I hope I could help. So thanks for watching guys, and uh, check back soon. Cheers.